Hi guys, uh, in this video we're going to be calculating volt drop and cable sizes in marine electrical circuits. To help with this video we're going to be using Circuit Wizard uh, for the pictures and uh, some of the circuits used. Uh, we're also using the formula from the British Marine Electrical Electronics Association and we're going to be calculating using a, a DC circuit in a marine application. Just one thing to note, volt drop calculations will vary with different regulations okay so the uh, BS7671 has a different uh, formula for calculating volt drop um, so there may be other variant very variations across the world um, it also changes depending on the current types whether it's AC or DC and the frequency of that current type so the objectives of this session are uh, we want to calculate the cable size of a DC motor in a marine craft, okay, so a boat, uh, maintaining a maximum volt drop of 3% for a critical system. And the second objective is to check that the cable installed on a yacht winch system meets the manufacturer's maximum volt drop of 5%. Okay, so that basically what that one is, is we're looking at a, um, a, a winch that's been installed on a boat, and we need to check that it meets the manufacturer's recommendations for installation requirements. So before we go into that, let's just look over some basic cable size calculations. Okay, so the formula that we're going to be using are voltage divided by resistance gives us current, and power divided by voltage also gives us current. And now the reason why I've picked these two out is because when we're selecting cable sizes, current is important. Okay, the current value or the current draw on that circuit is important. The higher the current draw, okay, the more electrons are flowing within our conductor the higher the temperature gets within that conductor. And so manufacturers specify a current carrying capacity for, for their conductors or for their cables, okay? And that de is determined usually by, one, the size of the cable, but also the size or the, the type of insulation that is around the cable itself, okay? So, you know, you've got uh, PVC insulations that range from about the 60 degree mark up to 120 degrees, so a 60 degree um, PVC insulation will have a lower current carrying capacity than a 120 degree current carrying uh, 120 degree uh, PVC insulation. So just to put this into practice, okay. So we've got a uh, we need to calculate the minimum size for a 500 watt motor uh, with a 12 volt supply. So we're going to use our power divided by voltage equals current. So 500 watts divided by 12 volts gives us 41.7 amps okay so quite a high current draw and then once you've got this information okay for our circuit we can then go to our cable uh, chart okay so just a couple of points to note on this one so up in the awg stands for american wire gauge okay so the larger the number the smaller the cable um, then you've got a direct equivalent in millimeters squared and then usually what we buy our cable size in the uk okay in millimeters squared so we're, we're looking at this this column here okay we're going to work in millimeters squared and then at the end is the maximum current carrying capacity for that cable now this is a generic table um, you will find that these values will change depending on the rating of the insulation uh, and the ma manufacturer themselves okay so they will determine the current carrying capacity okay uh, so We've done our calculations, 41.7 amps. We need to find a cable that suits, okay. The formula is maximum 38 amps, okay. That's too small, so we need to go to the next one up. So we end up with a cable of 6 mil, okay, with a maximum current carrying capacity of 51 amps. Okay, that's good, okay. That's, that, that will carry that load comfortably. Where we move this on is now what we need to take into account is the length of run. The cable itself has an insula uh, has a resistance value, okay. And the longer that the longer the cable run, the higher that resistance value will be, and that will contribute to volt drop within our circuit. Now we need to maintain a particular level of voltage within our circuits, okay, so that motors and pumps and stuff like that operate as they've been designed to. So this is where the volt drop comes into it, okay. So Okay, we've got a 500 watt motor, okay, 12 volt supply, 40, 41 amps, 6 millimeter cable. But if the cable run is 20 meters long, 30 meters long, and on larger boats, probably sometimes even 50 meters long, okay, the chances are 
that that six millimeter cable won't be sufficient to provide enough voltage to power that motor as required. So this is where we move on to the next step. We are going to start looking at okay volt drop. Okay, so within an exam paper you'll get a question. Okay, they can be quite wordy. So what we need to do is we need to read the question, break it down, and sort of establish what we need to do. Okay, so uh, you are required to install a 1.5 kilowatt motor on a motor yacht. The vessel has a 24 volt power source. The, mo the motor is located eight meters away from the battery bank. The motor is a critical system and the maximum volt drop allowed is 3%. Okay, so quite a bit of information there. And we've got a bit of a, a drawing there just to show the circuit. And what we need to do is we need to calculate the correct cable size to maintain a 3%, a maximum of 3% volt drop within that circuit. So, like I said, let's get organized. Let's break down our question, okay, into its component parts and, and work with it as we go. Okay, so you're required to install a 1.5 kilowatt motor on a motor yacht. Okay, so from power, which is watts, we need to find what the current rating is. So 1,500 is 1 1.5 kilowatts. 1,500 watts divided by 24 gives us 62.5 amps. Okay, that's quite a high current draw. The vessel has a 24 volt power supply. Okay, that's given, that's usually a constant, and we'll maintain that one. We've used it there for our, um, to calculate our current. The motor is located eight meters away from the battery bank. Okay, this is where questions try and catch you out. Okay, if it says eight meters away, because it's a DC circuit, you need to calculate it there and back usually doubling it is suffice okay so 16 meters it will be the total circuit length if it says the total length is eight meters then it's just eight meters but if it says away you know double it just to be safe so you got there and back and then the motor is part of a critical system and the maximum allowed volt drop is three percent so this is where you want to find three percent of the supply voltage okay so 3% of 24 volts is 0 0.72 volts. Now we need to then take that information and calculate the correct cable size. Okay, so now we know our formula, we need to input our data. So we have our constant of 0 0.0164 times our current at 62.5 times 16 meters, which is the length of our circuit. And that's all divided by our volt drop, our maximum allowed volt drop of 3%. Uh, so 3% uh, of 24 volts is 0 0.72. You put that into a calculator or work it out on your head if you've, uh, if you've got the capacity to do so. And then it should give you a value of 22.78 millimeters squared. And that is the ideal or the, the smallest size cable that you could install to maintain that 3% volt drop. What you'll find is that cable manufacturers don't manufacture odd sizes like this so you would need to round up to the next size so if we look at our cable chart 25 millimeters is the next size up okay which would be our cable size that we would use to maintain our three percent volt drop in this scenario okay okay in the second scenario so there's potential for two different types of question from this this subject in an exam um, we have the second scenario which is a one kilowatt winch has been installed on a motor yacht the owner is complaining of poor performance from the winch and you have been sent to investigate. The winch has been installed using a 15 millimeter square cable. The vessel has a 12 volt power source. The total length of circuit is 12 meters long. The manufacturer states a maximum allowed volt drop of 5% of the supply voltage. You need to calculate is the cable sufficient for this application? And if it isn't, what size should be used? Okay, so again, we need to break down our question into, and find the, the data that we need. Okay, so we need to calculate our current. So again, same as previously, power divided by volts equals current. So 1000 divided by 12 gives us a current draw of 83.34 amps. We're gonna change the formula slightly. So this time we actually, because we wanna find the volt drop, okay, we need to, um, we need to, 
find we need to put input the cable size so in this installation we're going to use s okay on the formula okay so we're going to be using s okay and that is what our cable size is so we're going to input 15 millimeter squared there the vessel has a 12 volt power source okay it's 12 meters long and the manufacturer states a, a maximum allowed volt drop of five percent of the supply voltage so five percent of 12 volts is uh, 0 0.6 volts and that's what we put into our formula okay so that's not actually that's not what we put into our formula with this one it is we want an output less than this if we get a higher um the cable is too small okay so and as it's 12 meters long we don't need to double the length okay because it says total length of circuit if it says away or something like that okay double it total length 12 meters long that's all we need so back to the formula okay this time we've changed it slightly okay uh, on the previous example e was down here and s was here but this time we're trying to find the volt drop okay we're trying to make sure that we are in a, a range okay so everything else is the same apart from this time we're going to do 0 0.0164 times our current times the length of the circuit and that's going to be divisible by the cable size and that will give us our volt drop that we have okay within that circuit okay and we're used to all those okay so now we punch in our data back into our formula okay so it's 0 0.0164 times our current 83.34 times the length of our circuit 12 meters in length and that's divided by the cable size and that will give us a volt drop of 1.09 volts okay so that's way above the 0 0.6 volts that we've been allowed for this circuit so the next step we need to do is we need to then go back to our previous scenario where we actually calculate the cable size okay so using the same formula or similar formula we're going to do 0 0.0164 times 83.34 times 12 but this time instead of dividing it by our cable size we're going to divide it by our maximum allowed volt drop and then from there you get 27.34 millimeters square cable size okay and again this is an odd size so a manufacturer probably won't make this so you'll need to go to your cable size chart and select the ones that you need so 25 is too small 35 millimeter squared is perfect okay and that will give us that will maintain our 0 0.6 maximum allowed volt drop okay so hopefully that has achieved our objectives for the lesson okay so we calculate the cable size for dc motor in a marine craft maintaining a maximum volt drop of three percent and we checked that a cable install on the yacht winch system meets the manufacturer's maximum volt drop of five percent Okay. Thanks for watching.